Let's talk about the Poisson distribution now. The Poisson is really an important distribution because it helps us to model the arrival of something, uh, something in time and something in space. It could be, uh, it could be uh, failures in a computer system. It could be customers at a store. It could be any kind of an event. Uh, uh, it could be a blemish on an area on a carpet. So let's see how we use the data analysis tool pack to generate randomly selected samples of a Poisson distribution. Poisson is a discrete distribution and there uh, we could use the method we used for the discrete distribution before to create this but this is a, a, a modified and possibly simpler way to do it. Let me get rid of some numbers first of all. I've been developing this worksheet and I'm going to get rid of these values and place the uh, spreadsheet in a pristine state. The first thing we want to do is we want to de determine how many variables we want. And you remember from our data analysis tool pack that there is a tab called random number generation. Hit OK. It's going to ask what distribution do you want? Well I want the Poisson and the number of variables. The number of variables are going to be the number of columns that I'm going to have and let's say I want five columns of numbers, could have any number, and then the number of random numbers in, in a column is going to be 20. So I'm going to wind up with five by 20 or 100 random numbers, and that's going to create a pool of random numbers that I can uh, sample from. And I need a sufficiently large number uh, so where uh, all the possible outcomes of the Poisson distribution with a particular parameter, lambda, that's how you describe a Poisson distribution with that parameter, just like we did with the mean with, with uh, the normal distribution with the mean standard deviation. All we have to do is provide it with a lambda. I'm going to use 6 as lambda. Uh, and uh, that's going to give us 100. Uh, if I were doing this in, in uh, the context of doing some business consulting, I'd probably use up to 500, maybe 1,000. Uh, there's no more cost to you simply by setting this thing up as a larger uh, number of outcomes. Uh, it's just a matter of putting in a different sets of numbers here. All right, so let's get the output range to be this area here is where, it, where I'm going to collect my randomly selected Poisson values. I'm going to hit OK, and there we are. We now have uh, many different values and the values are uh, random uh, variables from that Poisson distribution with a lambda of 6. So uh, now we have to select one of these 100 randomly from this randomly selected set. So I'm going to use the, the ran between function and I'm going to generate a random, uh, a random number of rows, or a random row from the, the 20 that I have. And I'm going to use the numbers that I've got here. M12 is where the lower number for the rand between is. And N12 is the number here. And so what that does is it selects an integer value between 1 and 20. This time it selected uh, 18. Again, I use, uh, actually I'm going to just drag this down. And now I've got 5. So it says go to the 19th row and over to the 5th column and our number will be 7. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to use an index function. Index function uh, says, all right, tell me where the data is. Tell me where you want me to go in terms of the row. The row is here. Tell me where you want me to go in terms of the column. The column is there. And there I have uh, the value 5. The 19th row 
and the first value is in fact 5. Let's change that by recalculating the spreadsheet. Now I go to the 14th row and the third value and in fact it is 4. So there we have it. How to select a randomly selected Poisson value, random variable, for a solution. Then we just simply incorporate this formula into the technology of the problem that we're working. That concludes this particular uh, video.